Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Team Shizu and our Rocket Smash Championship Grand Final Bracket. My name's Grafman, that's O'Neill, uh, alongside me. Uh, and we are into our semi-final stage, uh, uh, O'Neill. Uh, we've got Ooga Booga versus GMM uh, for this semi-final matchup, our first one. We're going to see the other one uh, a little bit later on. Take us through this matchup. I mean, you, you said before the break as well, O'Neill, uh, GMM upsetting uh, a team in their quarterfinal matchup. Yeah, absolutely. Like they took out I'm drunk, hey, 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 um, which for me, is, they were they were a strong team this tour to put down the losers here. So GMM obviously are coming in with some heat here, and they're coming up against the Uga Burger team who have been together quite a while. I know King G, Noah, and Kieran they've played their fair share of tournaments and events together, so they're a very experienced team coming up against. So this. Could be GMM's undoing, but the way they've been running through this tournament, who knows? I do not even want to predict them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, we saw them uh, earlier on in their game against on 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 the potent, uh, and they just absolutely stormed through that one. I mean, they had a bit of a hiccup in game number two, but that five nil uh, in game number one was certainly something to behold, and you can see how dominant this team could potentially be. Uh, now they've got to take on the number one seat in Womp uh, or excuse me, excuse me, so I'm thinking the other game, <laughs> Wompers. They're taking on Ooga Booga um, in this one, who are a team not to be sniffed at yeah. uh, in Kieran, uh, King GS and Noah, three <clears throat> top names in the UK bubble scene uh, that I'm sure a lot of people watching will know and will have heard of, certainly uh, gone through the likes of Epic Lan and, and uh, Insomnia's in the past, and they're here to play and could potentially be a team to get to the <clears> final today. Exactly. And funny because these players have all had a history with the organisation. Apart from Kieran, although he, I think, trialled at one point. So all these players have a history here. So it is quite interesting to see their development and the scene over time. And especially down at like, the Epic Land, they have been regulars. And they've always been doing very well. So good to see them here today. And good to see them in the semi-finals. Clearly, something about them. And as well, not that they can make it all play. Yeah, well, they're all fighting for that uh, final price pool at the end of the day. Currently sitting at $132.25. If you do want to con contribute uh, to the prize pool, exclamation mark prize pool in chat, you can use the promo code SRSC1 uh, to donate uh, 50, 50 cents, I believe it is. Um, and you can you, you use that multiple times. Log in with Twitch, do it once. Log in oh. with Twitter, do it another time. But King JS is logging in straight to the goal. Let, uh, just over a minute in, and they're up one. I'll take that one from you. Borderline, but it's good. But no, love a mistake <laughs> there in the defense. Uh, Kieran obviously gets off King G. Just, he's right there waiting for it, and that's one. And you can certainly see that this Uga Booga side are phenomenally quick. This is probably the quickest team that we've seen today. They're all over uh, the, the, uh, the GMM side right now, and uh, they're rotating so quickly, they're on the ball so quickly, they're just everywhere right now. Exactly, I think that's the experience telling there. These guys have been round the block. And this GMM team, we haven't quite heard them as much, but they've shown up today, so they've obviously they've got a really strong talent there, but they're coming up against experience, and sometimes it can be overwhelming. And as we see here at the start, they are pretty much overwhelming them to begin with here. And Noah, that's passed from the left-hand side, trying to catch King in the middle. He does get it towards net, but it's up towards the backboard. Noah trying to dunk it down, will not get anywhere, but the pressure still remains. Here comes Kieran trying to get it in towards the net. He'll take out Mercy, who was able to make the save around the left-hand corner. It will still go. Kieran with still so much boost. And this is this is the, the thing about fast teams. You think they run out of boost so quickly, but they're rotating that well through the midfield and stealing all the boost. They, they just can keep this pressure going and going and going. And I think this will be where GMM be up against the challenge of are they good enough? Because as the series we saw in the past, they were... And they've coming up against a much faster... Can they adapt? We'll see if they can adapt in the back line, but it has been a solid minute or so of complete dominating pressure here from Ooga Booga. They keep this one deep in orange territory just for the moment until mercy and the rest of the team able to get that one to the corner but noah straight back out to king <clears> js <throat> towards net it will go but just wide of the mark you can tell every every time that uh what's a demo oh, it's a, a lovely play what a play with the guys there 
just saw no way way up into the air and I think it's Kieran's just hung around and just took out the last man. And that's just beautiful play. Yeah, before that one happened, I was going to say every time that um, Uga Booga are just performing fast, dominating plays in, in the orange half, GMM, the only way they can really break out of that is by hard clearing it and just slapping it to the or uh, to the blue half of the field. But by the time they've done that, Uka Booga's already rotated. They've already got boost and they're straight back in their faces uh, in the orange half of the field. Here comes Kieran across the face of the net, finds Noah, but he puts it out to King JS, go floating towards the net once again, Mug able to get it away. But it's only really a matter of time until um, until another goal is going to go in, in my opinion, from Uga Booga because they're just performing so quickly and they're all over the back line of GMM. And I, do, I do think I see here, after watching this first game, that they potentially have a, so much around them because even when GMM get forward, they leave a person from the opposite team behind them. And we already see them in this game, they like to demolish. So if you're going to leave somebody to hit behind you where you can't even see them, you just need to wait and expect and just hope that he doesn't, he's not coming for you. Oh, but that's a big mistake in the midfield from Noah. Mug is there to send it home. A big miss from Noah in midfield and that's one on the board for GMM. And that was quite surprising actually. I think they just, they're working, that's the issue with playing so fast. You move up too quick sometimes in the soul. Some teams just can't catch up and that's exactly what just happened. Yeah, we talk, we've talked about it already this broadcast. So Neil, with so much pressure being applied uh, from one team, they might just leave their back lane open. Uh, Noah, as the last man back, he was way off field. Um, as the last man back. And, excuse, oh, excuse me. Uh, he was way off field as the last man back. And just that one little mistake, if, if you're playing that aggressive, you cannot play with any mistakes in that because one mistake, and it's going to cost you de uh, dearly in this matchup. I'm watching GMM here and... They're just starting to adapt brownly. In the last 30 seconds I've seen here, they've started to replicate Booga Booga's motions and try to demolish, and the rotations are starting to cut and be a lot quicker, and it's making for a much closer match. So happy to see how they're developing Nice little doink on, but uh, as you say, GMM uh, starting to... Oh, it's a adapt. goal! Like oh. you say, it might be a goal, but just across the face of the net. King will put it towards net, but it won't matter in the end. 2-1 will be the final scoreline here in game number one for Uga Booga. Uh, now, uh, I, I, like you said, GMM starting to uh, figure out Uga Booga, Booga a little bit and start to slow the pace of the game down, try and control that. Um, can Uga Booga keep this one up? Can they Can they keep um, the, the momentum and the speed and the pressure up? Or, or GMM, they're, they're, like we said, we were try, they were trying to uh, they were starting to try and uh, slow the pace of the game down a little bit and take control from the back line, but it was maybe just a little bit too too little too late. Mm, exactly. I think with Uga Booga that season, as I've said already so many times, played together a lot, but that particular second goal, that demolition play, that was clearly up, being practiced, it's been developed over time because it was so clean and just how the motions happened. Mug had he got mugged off really when he was trying to move forward and we just didn't have an answer for it. But good game, but we're still pretty close even though Uga Booga, I'd say majority of that, so GMM definitely is putting Yeah, and certainly um certainly Uga Booga did their damage early on uh, in the matchup and uh, did what they needed to do really within the first couple of minutes and then it was all for GMM to fight back so be interesting to see how Uga Booga start this one off as well. King GS will leave that one towards the backboard of the orange half as we begin game two here on Manfield. And again, Kieran and Noah trying to back up uh, King as much as as much as they can and be be the fast back heels as or, or, or back anchors of their team as everyone else goes and does their thing over the top. It will go King towards net. Just really for the moment by Mug. Now, Kieran, long path uh, clear upfield. And you can see uh, Mug there, which tried to play that downfield. He tried to pass it to the middle. No one was there except uh, a, a blue player. And he got demoed for his efforts at the end. Yeah, you can see here. Uh, Mug, uh, Mug, sorry. Um, Booga Booga's coming out, guns blazing here. And it's just the pressure. It's never ended. 
And it's just JMM just have to try and find a way to break it up. Because if it keeps going like this, it's one of those plays where eventually it was going to get through you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for, for sure. And uh, you can see Ugo Booger are just relentless in both their offense and their defense. This might be a chance, though, but Mercy demoed away and two men back for GMM just being very cautious of what of what Uga Booga can do on the quick counter attack. So they want to make sure they have as many uh, men back to prepare for that as possible. There goes, uh, I think that was uh, Kieran going for the bump there uh, off of the defender, but he, he does eventually get the uh, defender bumped. It was a different defender, but it wasn't really too threatening. Now Mug towards the middle. Mercy was there, but was so, was a, was, so was a blue attacker. And you can see Ugabuga just running this disruption in the middle of the field. They're not letting GMM get any space whatsoever. They're shutting down these angles before they even emerge. And GMM just cannot find the space to work with. This is where GMM have the opportunity. Ugabuga's let them, let them come into their half and played a bit, a few risky passes here. And now it's for the opportunity for GMM trying to steal that boost. But again, you saw Mercy, he just had nothing. He's had to just rotate all the way. That what we are preventing GMM doing, and of course the speed of the game that they're trying to put oh, up, just using as much boost as they have, and that's a big miss. As the net was in a favorable, favorable place for GMM, they just couldn't get the shot off. Now Growly to the backboard, Mug puts it to the side, one on one with uh, Kieran in the net. I believe it was. He could have had a shot there. He could have had a chance, but just puts it wide. And now the counter attack from Uga Booga could spell disaster, but they. They're able to rotate very, very well. That's a nil-nil game, and this is the best that GMM can hope for, really, at this point in the game. Yeah, absolutely. I've noticed this last minute they've had the pressure going because they're realizing the important demos and bumps and just not necessarily oh. playing the direct, but maybe going for a bounce off to the side instead. And they're starting to get a lot more success. Oh! Oh, go. oh my god, that came out of nowhere, but that's exactly what I mean. They're just putting the ball in a place where it's close enough to be a danger. And the mistake happens in the summer. Brilliantly played by Growly, chipping it up to himself. And the defense really had no idea where that was coming. They were probably focused on the two uh, other players from GMM, Mercy and Mug, probably coming downfield, but they weren't expecting Growly to shoot it from there. And I think a blue player might have helped that goal out at the end, but it doesn't matter. It's 1 0 in favor of GMM. Nuga Buga. Maybe they've been caught out, maybe they've been yeah, found again, out because Mog again. has that off the backboard and again using the walls to their advantage, they're 2-0 up. And this is probably saw like earlier in the day, when they got one goal, they almost always got a goal directly behind it and they've done it here again against an even better team. So it just shows the character of these players. And the style of play that they are playing indeed that Fancy. just want as many off the kickoff as it's possible. Growly going for that. A uh, freestyle play with the flip. I think he had the flip reset, but it didn't matter in the end. The defense was able to snuff that out fairly quickly. And now, with just over a minute to go, can Ugabuga turn this one around and start playing in the in the oh, orange half of the field? Because it's really been deep oh, in blue territory for plan. most of it. And Growly will put them even more in a, into a pit. Three nil with a minute to go. I'm just loving that interchange there. The you could cut the ball off doing a half flip and then the early rotation passed and then uh, just, oh, my heart's just like, that's such a good play. <laughs> it was brilliantly executed from GMM and it might have put this game out of reach for Uga Booga. Now thinking towards game three, what can Uga Booga start doing to counteract what GMM are, have uh, really found out about Uga Booga because they've been playing phenomenally fast, phenomenally well challenged as well but it's just when it comes to their backline they're not reading these uh, touches off the backboard, yeah. off the ceiling, what have you from GMM and they're, they're really exploiting that uh, that flaw from Booga Booga I think they were, Booga Booga's going to do what GMM were at the start and they're just, they're letting them come at them. and what is happening is this GMM putting pressure on a particular, that's not like as they get more pressure Booga Booga just make mistakes, and that's what we're seeing. Right here, yeah. again, both players just walk away from the ball. Let's go. They do just leave that back line wide open, so 
This aggressive style play from Ooga Booga not really working too well here in game number two. GMM all over it, knowing when to bait out the players and are doing that to a T. Is it time for Ooga Booga to start playing a little bit more conservatively, let the game come to them and then go for a quick counter attack because we know they have the speed on their side. Maybe it's time to put that into a counter attacking play than going all out aggression the entire time. 4-0. This game will end once it touches the floor, and it will do right now. GMM tie up the series. That was a beautiful game from GMM. They absolutely needed that to cut the lead in its tracks, get it right back to essentially, and essentially make it a best of three. So here we go. Now game three, I think GMM have got quite a lot of things that um, Ugga Booga need to answer here. They really do. Um, and... GMM, they're really playing their cards close to their chest uh, because we know they've got a, a lot of weapons in their arsenal and really they're just they're just counteracting what uh, Ooga Booga are doing. They're not really playing their own game. They're letting Ooga, Bo Ooga Booga do what they need to do and then they're going ahead and just playing the complete opposite to that and it's shutting them down uh, where it matters most, especially in the middle of the field. Exactly. And should we see here kick off from the teams here? Who's going to be going for the balls? It will be Mug and Noah on this kickoff to start us off in game number three. Interesting to see what Ooga Booga come out with here in this uh, crucial game three as we're tied up in this series. One or the next, uh, whoever wins this game will go on to match point and one game away from the upper bracket final. Being Noah was just caught away. on the wrong side of the player, so he had to just get out. In the grand final. To, sorry, allow GMM no. to get out. Yeah, you can see now that Growly and the rest of GMM really want to start keeping this ball, ball deep in blue territory. I mean, we saw it in game number two where I, I would say probably about 60 to 70% of the time the ball was deep in the blue half of the field. Now oh, the pass into the middle, beautifully back. executed. Growly to Mog, and it's up 1 0 to GMM. Again, like a lot of these goals today are out of nowhere, but a beautiful pass down the middle there. Mug's already waiting, he gets to the before the defender and just puts it on the goal. And you could see here in the angle he was going up for there, he thought Growly might have been wanting to shoot from the sidewall, but no, he spies Mug wide open. No one saw him sitting there except Growly and pulled off to perfection. Well done to the GMM squad. And this is the sort of games you love to see. Teams that are happy to go for the pass rather than try to do it themselves. Because it, more than anything, it just looks beautiful when it comes off. And it's such so good to watch as a um, viewer. Certainly, it certainly is. And just watching the struggle of Ooga Booga right now, trying to figure out what the hell do we need to do to beat GMM right now? Because they were all over them in the first game and they just can't seem to break out of their own half now. Now Noah will actually go for a flick over. He, there was only one man back and he beats some Mercy, flips to Oblivion and we're tied up. Yeah, it's still a bit of a double commit here. They tried too hard to get the pass to work and that's when the issues can happen. If you're forcing it, if you're trying to always get the pass, it will sometimes come back to haunt you and in that time it bit them in the ass and you can see the goal. Yeah, Mercy just wasn't in the great, greatest of positions either, and that double commit from the rest of his team certainly didn't help, and leaving them all alone on his back line. Not the best if you're uh, a team who's been on a on a hot streak, five goals in a row, they managed to get. Now they tie themselves back up. Here comes King. On the left hand side, try to defend this one and get it back into the orange half of the field and get it over another one. Still no boost, but Noah way too far up there. Luckily, Kieran was backing him up, and this is something that we've seen from Noah quite a bit. He's ha he wants to set a much higher line than is really needed, and balls have just gone flying over his head yeah. so many times and set has set up GMM uh, in perfect positions. I was too as well though, like compared to game one, GMM managed to take control of the boost a lot more than what they had that game and it's, it just shows this goes to the show same as earlier oh it's a beautiful touch oh, oh. oh it's just a double oh, oh. To get a save. that was sneaking in that one makes sneak in as well from Kieran on the follow-up ball not 
as that one gets uh, kept away by Growly, who's got 100 boost. He's got Mug in the right-hand side in assistance, but Noah is there. Kieran double commits with that one, but he takes control off of that one. Oh, oh. tries to get it under one. He gets it under Mug, but not will not fall for... Uh, the last man in defense will not fall for it. Brilliantly played by Kieran, but even better by the defense. And that's a mistake there. Oh. Accidentally had it over. And that puts Noah right in the top corner for a quite comfortable shot, actually. The keeper did not really have much of a chance there. Oh, and you see Mercy, actually, he, it was the right play to go and challenge that ball in the corner, but just such an unfortunate touch to ping that one back into position and let Noah just have a free reign at net. 2-1. We'll now be scoring for Uga Booga. Sorry, go ahead. It's a good answer from this game from Uga Booga, though, compared to last game, like... They've realised that we need to try and be more aggressive continuously, and as you see here moving forward, it's an open net. Has he got oh it? On top? Wait, where's the defence in this one? No, I think <laughs> both teams are having the same issue here, but that's they are. Like, it'd be set out that side. You just get us on the last guy there, and then we has to the open net. It's a beautiful yeah, to be, yeah, and to be honest, it was that three man play there from uh, the GMM side. They were just take takes one challenge, then another. And then I don't know where the third defender was. He was just absolutely nowhere in that one. Nice pass off here from King to no one. No one's going for the touch off the roof. Blocked by Dowry. King back in the corner. Here not, but he misses it. It's an open net. It's a quick counter attack here from Mug. Mug's running into the corner. He gets a demo, but that's again. A, that's an interesting demo. I think <laughs> King went really into. Good intention, though. King went into the side of Mug, but he was the one who got demo. Okay. Thanks, Silonix. <laughs> It's a quick turn there now on the counter, 1v2, couldn't quite get off, but he gets a bump and pressure's there, he's got no boost to get back though, so I think he's just calling off the attack for now. Yeah, he will let everyone go back to defense. Oh, the double? He was trying to carry that one up, <laughs> hey, he'll get it out to Noah, and no one was able to get the defense on that one, they were all focused on King, they didn't count on Noah. Yeah, it's the main issue we see here today whenever the games will be, double commits are always leading to the goals. If these teams can recognise it and just talk a little bit quicker in game, they're going to cancel these out and they're going to be able to save conceding all these goals. Indeed, but as we see now, a double to demo there between King and uh, Mug taking each other out of that one, but all for GMM to do now is Uga Booga yeah. seem, to have found their, seem to have found their stride here in game number three once again after that absolutely demolishing game number two, that demoralizing game number two, four nil down. With 25 seconds left, still all to play for here. Mercy, or excuse me, Mug takes that one towards uh, towards net. Mercy was there for the follow up uh, if needed, needed, but he doesn't. He wasn't able to get on target. Mug actually what gets on target. Team. Noah shoots straight into the path of Noah, and that could have been it. That could have been the tying goal, but it will get played away now by King. To the corner is Mug. He has to send this all the way down. Mercy is there to keep it up, but Growly does not have any boost and can't get to the ball in time. Uga Booga goal two games to one up and are one game away from the upper bracket final. Mercy just looked at that ball as if, oh no, because I don't think he was expecting the save. It just came out of nowhere past. And he just kind of looked at it for a second as if, hang on, that's not what in. And then he, he thought about going forward, but he realised that 10 boost, he just couldn't do anything. He was forced, even though the net was wide open, to just turn around and go back. It's such a heartbreaking moment for him. But Uga Booga get the win, and that's what they needed. And now we're going into match point. Yeah, match point on the side of Uga Booga. And after the game that GMM had in game number two, you thought they would have been a little bit uh, tighter together as a team. But there was times, especially on defence, where uh, GMM just seemed a little bit, um, a little bit dazed and confused, uh, and Uga Booga were just all over them on the defense half of the field. So, and that's kind of what happened in game number two. They, because Uga Booga didn't get as many chances, that's probably why they didn't score. So we want to see GMM start taking control again, and keep this ball in blue territory because their defense has just been not up to the scratch not what we've really been expecting from them and Uga Booga knows that and knows that if they can break out of their own half they're going to score big I think that's the case so whichever team oh that's a nice demo then there's no Panesh oh it is a nice demo beautiful play there nice, nice little demo the, yeah it takes a takes a defender away and Kieran uh, where was this demo uh, yeah it did take the defender away right on exactly where the, the ball ended up going into the net 
King uh, Kieran was set up, but get demoed just for being in the way. So one 0 in favour of GMN. Nice start this here in game four for them. It's absolutely fascinating seeing this high level play, just how well and how quick they can adapt. Each time one's came up with a new plan, the other person's either copied it or just made it better. And again, just there, a fine example. Uga Booga's demolishing kind of strategy. GMM took it to them and done it exactly all and got it. beautiful to see. Brilliant to to watch Uga oh, Booga just work. Oh, that's no, a big no, miss from Mug. Great recovery though, as he missed the first save, doesn't manage to miss the second one. That could have been easily tied up, but it's straight into the heart of the defender. Goes Uga Booga, and they still remain on no goals as GMM have their one. Just over a minute into this game, Mug trying to intercept that one as it comes down the field from his teammate, but not able to make the touch. The redirect towards net will just go into the corner here. Mug towards the backboard. We've seen how well they've been able to use the, the back walls to their advantage, our GMM, but relief for the moment by Kieran. Oh, that's not a great a shot from pass. Growley. He tried to clear it to the other side of the field, but King JS was there to, for the steal. Yeah, it was a very poor mistake there, sadly for Growley. He, he tried to hit the ball before it bounced and it just had no momentum whatsoever and just made it open net for the opposition. Lovely stuff. And it's good because they're, they're, I've criticised their positioning quite a bit throughout this series, mainly from being too high up the field. And it was brilliant there from Kieran, just knowing where that ball's going to go. He was able to intercept that one. Interesting. And then to tries him. to slow it down, and he does get it slowed down. Mercy with the follow-up. Growly can't send it home. Three men, three shots, and no goal to show for it. And now the counter-attack, Kieran, to the backboard. Who is there to follow up? No one it is saved phenomenally well by the defence. And back into the blue half, it will go so back and forth in this one, O'Neill. Exactly, and you can see, I love how GMM walk around like a pack of wolves, if it to do everything in threes, it's just how they manipulate the play and get it moving and see it's put in the window here, but well cleared at the front post, and that's up high here now, a bit of a mistake there, Kieran manages to change his car and get a lot of challenge, but, and that's, oh, it's another commit here, oh, is that, oh, no overcommit, I think it's, it's a goal, it's, it's a, a wide open net. net as well, yes. it is Growly, he can't make it back in time, and the net just opens itself up, you can see Mug, the last man back, um, and Growly actually he got demoed in it. That was just the respawn. So he was the last man back and misses the challenge there does Mug. And that is so, so crucial to swing that in favor of Uga Booga. Two and a half minutes gone, two and a half to go. It's all on the line for GMM if they want to stay up in this upper bracket to try and make it to the upper bracket final. And then eventually the grand final later on will be uh, playing for that 130 something dollar prize pool that we got just now over on Match Arena, exclamation mark prize pool, if you want to go and contribute to that. That's a lovely pass forward here, Growly for the touch. He's dropping down, but managed to run out of the pitch. This is a two on two, I think, here right now. Gets over one, but the last man managed to get cleared on the roof. It's just kind of back and forth here. There's not really anybody one fully commit yet. And you can tell that no one really wants to commit too much on the, especially on the Ugabuga side, they just want to hold on to this lead as much as possible because they know how how badly they can get hurt in the GMM half of the field. There's only one man there. Can touch again. Oh, oh. We can't. Kieran gets out of the way in time and is able to make the save for his efforts. A minute and a half left now. Demo. That's a great demo as Growly gets taken out of the play, but Mug is going to bring this one down the right-hand wall. Growly is there on the follow-up to the backboard. Mercy, can he send it home? Blocked away by Kieran. It's still in oh, the danger Jacob. zone. Growly, he tried to make the touch into the net, but he just puts it back out into play. My, oh my, what a sequence of play there from GMM. Unfortunate to not come away with the goal. Absolutely. They made a wonderful effort up the top part, but they just, they just couldn't quite get it going to actually get this shot on target and that's where they have been struggling in this series. They put the ball above the net a bit too much and they could be doing it getting some more actually on target. Test the keeper. Exactly, because the keeper can't save every shot that you put in. So might, might as well try and make a miss a couple of times and even if he doesn't, you still set up with your, your third man to try and send it home and now with 35 seconds left, still all to do for GMM to to remain in this upper bracket. Uga Booga, two games to one up here. 
And they're all but confirmed for the upper bracket final one series away from the grand final, but they still got to hold on for another 20 odd seconds. It's actually not going to happen. Mercy passes it into Growly and the defense not set up for this one whatsoever and ties it up with 16 seconds left. Yeah, I think it was a bit of a lapse in the decision. What there? King was, I think he was expecting his teammate there, but I think, I think it was Noah. He just decided he wanted to go for a boost and King suddenly realized, oh, I need to go. But it was already too late. You can see a nice kick off from down off here. Tried to get the demo, didn't quite work. It's a high play by King off over the GMM's net, and it's a bit of a, a bit of a ruckus here, a bit of a pressured moment. He goes for the demo. King could get it on the keeper. Two seconds left. I think we're probably beginning the overtime here. Yes, we are. Yeah, it touches down just as the clock strikes zero. It's all on the line now. GMM trying to keep their hopes alive here in the upper bracket. They, if they do eventually fall into the into the lower bracket, actually, whoever loses this one will be going on uh, <clears throat> to play against. Uh, That's a lovely uh, clear. To play against the winner of Ascending Legends and either Sauce or Omnipotent. So we'll see what happens with that one uh, down the lower bracket. But we'll focus on this overtime for now. Getting so so close, our GMM, and you can tell they're getting frustrated with this defense. They're trying to put as many shots on as oh, possible. Gosh. The King might just flip that one in. It will go into the path of mercy. Growly plays this one away and they're safe for now, but they need to start getting shots more so on target. Here comes Growly up to the backboard. Kieran flips it away back into the middle. It will come from Mug, but Mercy and Growly smartly rotate back before the counter attack can come. Yeah, I totally see what you were saying earlier about the frustration of Jamie. Can seem to get through this Uga Biga uh, defense here. And I do think it is starting to wear on because it's only a matter of time before these guys come through them with their aggressive play but saying that a bit of a mistake there but Kieran manages to rotate just in time to get it covered I mean you sort of like I talked about how frustrated they are I mean 12 shots with only two goals to show for it for GMM certainly uh, a team looking for some kind of relief they want this to be over right here right now and take us into game number five but this defense is coming to life now for Uga Booga. It's just for Uga Booga, they just can't seem to transition down the field all that well because GMM are holding the midfield uh, a lot more that, so than they have throughout this series. Now, Mug sets it up for Mercy nice down pass. to Growly. The passing play has been so aggressive, so dangerous for GMM throughout this series. It just floats on the goal line for a second or two and is eventually cleared mm -hmm. away. But GMM are not done. That's a wide open net if Kieran was able to get a solid touch to that one. Now, Noah. Only nine boosts to his name, but they don't know that Growly will take it away from them, though. And set up the rest of the team. Here comes Mug over the top. How much boost does Kieran have? Just enough oh, to get yes, away, dude, but he can't goal. get the... Save the follow-up for Mercy. GMM, four skate five. That is exactly what we want to see from GMM. Even though he didn't have any boost going forward, Mug, he just made... He acted as if he did. And the defense felt the pressure. He reacted to his flip, and it actually gave Mercy the chance to get... The and he manages to bury it absolutely beautiful in the end of game five, like you say. Who do you think is going to get this one? After watching those four games, do you think he's got it? It's oh my good. It's tough to say because both teams have their have their runs of um, of brilliance. You see GMM pressuring so much down in the in the blue half and just keeping Uga Booga pinned back. But then Uga Booga can flip it around and do exactly the same to GMM. Just go to turn up the pace of the game, just go so incredibly fast that GMM can't rotate uh, and and uh, and defend that all that well. So it, it's tough to say, but if, if anything, I think I think it's going to be Uga Booga. I know GMM just won that game in spectacular fashion, but for me, Uga Booga have been the most put together. They performed the best throughout this series, so I would not be surprised if they're... I, I don't think they'll run away for it with it here in game number five. But they're certainly going to put up a fight, and I think they'll come out on top. Yeah, I think I would have to agree with you. Oh, absolutely beautiful team plays, and when they get a team play going together, it's dangerous oh. as it's off the roof there. But manages to just get it cleared, and he gets it on here for the counter. But play an interception by Mug, and then just switches it right back. Yeah, but it's quick shots like that that keep GMM such a threat deep down in blue territory. Three shots onto net will not happen. Only the two. The third was there, but he just could not find that target. On I the think blue. that's the reason why I'd stay a good win because 
in that situation, I feel like it was that was a goal. In GMM, they just need to try and work in the on target a little bit quicker, a little bit more precise, and they're going to get goals. But at the moment, they are just struggling to get that last 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 part of the goal. And one thing for me that Uga Booga has kind of lost throughout this series, back at, way back in game number one, excuse me, when, when GMM were going for a lot of the passing plays, Uga Booga were hunting them down and snuffing them out before they mm -hmm. could even progress, but they're allowing the space for GMM to have oh, that, let that happen. Growly goes for top left corner, cannot get it low enough, but it keeps the pressure deep in the Uga Booga side of the field. Like I said, they're just giving GMM so much space to work with, and they're not challenging as quickly as they were back at the start of the series, O'Neill. Yeah, exactly. I think GMM must be listening to the point because we've both just predicted Uga Booga are going to take the last game and they are on fire right now. The pressure they're holding, boost control, the position plays. They constantly try to set up to get a goal other than just smashing it at the net. It's wonderful to see. I really do believe this is going to go right down to the wire could even potentially see overtime but i was talking just there about like th throughout the rest well, of the series the goal. lack of the lack of pressure that uh g uh, excuse me uga booga have had but they at least get the in midfield interception here from mercy and king js and noah work that in on the empty net and get the first goal here in game number five you saw that there king just absolutely bullied the last man out of play and then just turned and just set up that was a beautiful play from king that was all him and Noah just had to tap in, so absolutely well done. Now GMM need to respond. Next, they too. started hunting. They have started hunting, and we were talking about how uh, they weren't getting uh, the challenges that we've seen them get, but there's been so many times where GMM have gone for an infield pass or upfield pass, and it's usually been King GS on the ball stopping that play from progressing before it can, before it can even start. So... Coming back to their game one form, Uga Booga, but Growly with oh, an open what net a goal, that's such a good Green point. pass off the backboard to himself, dunks it down, tie game. That is incredible, the team play to get it up all first of all, and then to use the second pass, double time. That was magnificent play from GMN. Growly has really been the standout player for me from this GMM squads, but I mean, back in the uh, the game we saw them earlier earlier on against Omnipotent, uh, Growly was fairly quiet right up until the last game. Uh, as you, I remember you pointing out, O'Neill, but this one in this series, he has been a dominant force, not to be messed with, and he is all over this Uga Booga defense. Absolutely, I totally agree. Like we've seen just about every goal out of his. He's been oh my goodness! Take oh. I couldn't catch, quite catch who it was. I think it might have been Mercy going up for this off the backboard. Actually, oh, it's clearly a no. Just as we're praising him for being an offensive powerhouse in this series, his defense lets him down and lets that slip through the through, through through the cracks. And just under two minutes to go, they're down by one goal once again. One thing that the bigger really good at is when he get into that fake the keeper out and use the wall to actually make the pass. Oh, GMM's got an opportunity oh here, but oh. he just didn't go. He just, you could even just put his body in the way there just to create a diversion, but he decided against it and they've lost the opportunity. Yeah, Mercy playing that far too slowly. Like you said, just try and be aggressive when the ball's floating on the goal line like that, even if it's not in a favourable position, you're, you cannot wait for the defense to let it one let it go because it's not good like a defense like Uga Boogers is not going to allow that ball to get into such a good position if it's going that slowly especially on their own goal line so now they need to play out of their own half to GMM if they want any far. chance of this happening I saw that one going to, towards goal I wasn't expecting that one just to go straight past the defense here actually mug way out of possession I don't think Growly had any boost and it just floats in for 3-1. Yeah. A little bit of a lapse again there, I think. Possibly the fatigue of the game could split both these teams here. And the experience is possibly starting to shine through a little bit now. Indeed, but still a minute left. Still plenty of time for GMM. We've been seeing them go fast before. Here comes the infield pass that's been... Oh, he's missed it been so threatening but I think Mug got bumped on his way to go for that for that assist 
Here comes Growly now oh, over the top. Like... No, he's, he's just been completely dunked by Noah. Such an awkward position, and Noah all over him. I can't tell if he's trying to fake the bomb to him here. I don't think he was expecting Noah just to be... But that is what experience he realized. Dangerous position. If he puts his body in the way, he tries to challenge it, he could get the goal. That's what Mercy should have done earlier, was on the opposite line. Yeah, like like you said, O'Neill, he just was not expecting Noah to be there as he turned that one around in just such an awkward position to be in as well. It's so heartbreaking for GMM at this stage. They've performed so well throughout this entire series, <clears throat> and it looks like they might be dropping down to the, to the lower goal, bracket. Though. But well, it is I a goal then. indeed. Wide open, 15 seconds. It's improbable, but it still could happen. We haven't seen too many kickoff goals to, and at this level, it's unlikely, but you can never say never. So we could still be going to overtime here. Exactly, never say die. I think GMM were the ones to get a quick kickoff goal in that 5 0 that we saw them in earlier, but they won't get one here. The time will tick down, their hopes will slip away, and GMM will be sliding to the lower bracket. Meanwhile, Ooga Booga stamp their ticket to the upper bracket final, one series away from our grand final. So again, another really good series, Uga Booga, I think experience shone through for three. Otherwise, it could have went any way at all. But commiserations to GMM, fair play. I think they'll do really well in the losers bracket, bracket especially if they're playing like this. They are the dark horse to the tournament, and I still think They've still got quite a journey to go in this event, so congratulations to Uga Booga for getting to that grand final, or winner's final, sorry, and we'll be seeing them very shortly after our next semi-finals match. We will be, and GMM will drop down to the lower bracket, uh, like you said. They'll be playing the winner of Ascending Legends versus Omnipotent 2. That came happening off uh, stream just now. We'll let you know the result of that, and of course we'll be bringing you uh, the lower bracket final. Uh, to see who qualifies for the grand final from the lower bracket. But like you said, we have another semi-final to get to very quickly after this short break. It will be Wampers versus Who Asked Though. Don't go anywhere. More Rocket League on action on its way. <laughs> 